Hey y'all, welcome to What's Cooking with Paula Dean today. I am back here with Naomi Whittle and uh, she is helping me to understand, to, to look for those good fats, get rid of those bad fats. So I was on the right track, what now, Naomi, oh, when I my. got rid of everything white for me to lose that initial. But now I need to learn how to really take advantage of all the good fats. Now, does that kind of fit in? Absolutely, Paula. I was so excited when we started looking through your cookbook and connecting it with uh -huh my book, Glow 15, and how we put the two together because uh -huh. everything that you have in here, like just these most delicious, delicious recipes, right? Uh -huh. So let's even take any one of these. The choice is let's take the butter bacon burger, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. So delicious. And what you add to it as far as the bacon and the different, uh -huh. the mayonnaise, which uh -huh. comes with the good fats in it, Every now, single is one that of these homemade recipes. mayonnaise or store bought mayonnaise? Well, I'm a big fan of homemade mayonnaise. Me too. My grandfather uh, in France actually taught me uh -huh. um, how to make homemade mayonnaise. And like you were saying, you know, you're using the good fats in that. So you uh -huh. could be using the olive oil, uh -huh. which you have throughout this entire book. So I just love the fact that you've got the good fats in here and then you're using your air fryer it's mm -hmm. phenomenal. Mm -hmm. So we just got to leave off those bad fats. That's all we have to do and replace them. It's not about depriving ourselves right. or taking away from the delicious and wonderful cooking. I know it. I know it. Nobody wants to think. And I think that's why people lose weight and then they gain it right back because nobody likes to think, I'm never going to be able to ever eat that again. No. Nobody, nobody wants to live that way. And when you think about the way that you first learned how to cook from your grandmother, right? Grandmother, yes. What did she teach you about butter? Like, how did you know all of this? I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Uh, I just knew that margarine was one of those things yeah. that was... But early in my marriage, I had to buy margarine. I couldn't mm -hmm. afford butter. Uh, and I knew I shouldn't. But really? the pocketbook, you know, just wouldn't allow me to do it. But isn't that amazing that you knew that and everything that you've been doing just aligns so much with what our bodies want, right? Mm -hmm. So our bodies want the good fats every day mm -hmm. because the good fats activate the natural process of youth inside of our cells. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. a whole biological thing. And, and by eating good fats, that little Pac-Man is in there. Cleaning things up, cleaning up the junk. And the thing about bad fats that we just don't realize is when we go to restaurants, not every restaurant is like your restaurants, right? you provide such a blessing to all of your customers because you're cooking with peanut oil. Yes, and it's more expensive, but right. I, I would be willing to say there's not many restaurants out there. There are that, not. That do that. We could go out and do a test, and I do this every day because mm -hmm. I try so hard to avoid mm -hmm. the bad fats. Mm -hmm. And what most restaurants do is they'll use the bad fats because you can't taste them, mm -hmm. and they're trying to cut mm -hmm. down on, on, on the costs, mm -hmm. and it's an easy way to do it, and nobody is knows the better for it. Right, right. Nobody gets hurt. Nobody gets hurt, or so we think. Think. Right? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Tell us how to get started. How do you... Excellent. How do you get started? Well, I think a great... Because I am starting Monday. Uh -huh. I'm starting this Monday. I think the first thing you do to get started mm -hmm. is to make sure you have the right good fats in your kitchen. So number mm -hmm. one is to do exactly what you've done. All right, name me some good fats. Okay, so olive oil, 
peanut oil mm -hmm. is a good fat. You can use coconut oil as a good uh -huh. fat. Uh -huh. um, My daughter-in-law uses coconut oil. It's a great, it's a great one. Um, you can use something called tea seed oil, mm -hmm. which comes from the green tea plant. It's a little bit more unusual. Um, avocado oil, we, we've okay. mentioned. These are some of now the really good ones. something we can chew. Something that you can chew. Yes. That's a good fat. Well, lots of, lo well, lots of, lots of the good, high quality fatty meats, right? So you uh -huh. can chew right off the bone, all uh -huh. sorts of delicious uh -huh. meats. Uh -huh. You can eat that marrow that you share. Yes. Mm. Um, that's a great way to get a lot of the good fats. So I think if we eat the way our grandmothers, our, our grandmothers, Eight on our mm -hmm. mother's side, it's mm -hmm. the very best thing we can do for anti-aging, for health and well-being. Mm -hmm. All right, how about lettuces? Sure. So with lettuces, of course, I want lots of green uh, mm -hmm. leafy vegetables, mm -hmm. but I love the collard greens that you oh make. Gosh, All of the yes. dark green leafy vegetables. And, and we cook them in ham hocks, Yum. which is what gives them that wonderful flavor, y'all. But that's good because it's, it's the a best. good fat. It's the best, right? So the ham hock is providing so much additional nutrition right into those wonderful collard greens. And that together is one of the best things you can do for your health. Oh, well, that's great. Uh, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. I've, I've got to hear more about those foods that I can chew, not, not drink. The space that you live in really affects the way you feel. So my first recommendation is start by updating your window treatments with Smith & Noble. Smith & Noble's beautiful handcrafted blinds, drapes, shades, and shutters are custom made just for you. And they offer different service options to fit your needs. To get started today, contact Smith & Noble to get my special limited time offer, 25% off on your window treatments, plus free design consultation. Create a space that you're gonna love. For details about my special offer, go to smithandnoble.com slash Paula. That's smithandnoble.com slash Paula. Or call 1-800-659-3300. That's 1-800-659-3300. Hey y'all, welcome back to What's Cooking with Paula Dean. I'm here with Naomi Whittle, and we're gonna, uh, we're talking about, uh, I asked Naomi to list me some good fats that I can chew. I think I know what they are, but I just wanna hear it from her. Uh, so yesterday we were talking about uh, frozen vegetables. Yes. They are so good now because they're flash frozen and it's just like they're out of the fields. They're so much more so fresh compared to even fresh vegetables. The nutrient level is at the highest. So you're getting like yeah. two for one yes. when you use the frozen. Like I love frozen black-eyed peas, Ooh. butter beans, mm -hmm. crowder peas, Yum. lady peas, ladyfinger peas. Uh, all of those are such good products. Now, corn gets a bad rap, doesn't it? It does. It's and supposed I, to be one of those foods you should never eat, right? I personally um, prefer to eat other foods, but by all means, so many people love corn. Oh. But I think that, you know, in moderation, like what you were mm -hmm. saying to me yesterday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our Silver Queen corn in June and July is so delicious. So good. Oh. Uh, and I hear there's some great corn in New Jersey, in the state of Jersey. Mm -hmm. Have you heard that? I have heard that as well, yes. <laughs> yes. So uh, naturally, potatoes are off the, right. they're off Those the table. White. My favorite food in the whole world. Uh, but I can have one once in a while, and that'll be all right. <laughs> and it's that butter that you put on it. Uh -huh. You were, you oh, were mentioning gosh. to me, um, with your with your grandkids and and how you know eating a scoop mm -hmm. of butter uh -huh. is something that you allow them to do and yes I, I so good I would have a a, a bowl of butter balls mm -hmm. and little Jack would come in and he'd crawl up to the table and he'd reach in there and get him a whole ball and just eat it. Uh, 
and my oh, kids his mother just almost had a heart attack. <laughs> I said, it's all right. It is all right. <laughs> it is. It's God's gift, like you were it saying. It is God's gift. Mm -hmm. Yes. And there are, you know, you think about those little butter balls. They're literally energy balls for mm -hmm. our health mm -hmm. and they're fuel for our body. They're filled with so much of the good, good, clean fat. And um, yesterday we ate some of the fat bombs. She has fat bombs, y'all. And you would not believe how delicious, especially for you dark chocolate lovers, because the ones that you made and brought, they are so dark. Right. Along with your glass of red wine. I know one of our girls loves red wine with that <laughs> real, real dark chocolate. Yeah. Together. She Together. likes to nibble on her chocolate. Yes. And uh, these were so good, y'all. And Naomi said you can have three a day yeah. which that that's great have one in the morning and an afternoon snack and for some reason i want something sweet right before i go to sleep which is which is if you it's have perfect. one My fat after bomb. dinner the little fat bomb so we know that the fat bomb is opposite of like what a normal sweet treat is there's yeah. no sugar so you use uh, an alternative like stevia uh -huh. And there are no carbohydrates. So you might be using almond butter or macadamia nut butter or coconut, uh -huh. like the lemon ones that uh -huh. we had yesterday. And they're so satiating. They give us so much energy. Oh, my God. And help us to lose fat. Yes. And after I ate that, that little fat bomb, I mean, I was good. Yeah. You know, I was, right. I was just good. You feel good, uh -huh. right? You don't that was, you, that you feel was satiated. Plenty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was plenty for me. Um. And now, can we order those, or so do I have to make them? We have to make them right now, but I'm hoping okay. that you make them for all of us because <laughs> only you, Paula, could make them so delicious. And, oh, uh, well, thank you. I would certainly try. Hmm. Uh, we had so much fun when I first started with the bag lady uh, making gooey butter cakes. I bet between the team and myself, we came up with 75 ways wow. to make a gooey butter cake. And so I'd love to do that with the fat bombs. I think that would be amazing, incredible, because we're giving ourselves yes. a treat that's so delicious, and yet it can really help to improve our health. That's, that's just It doesn't make wild. sense, right? Uh -huh. It doesn't make sense. But when you explain it to me, uh, in the scientific way, mm -hmm. I can understand right. that. Yes. I can understand how that would happen. Thank you, Naomi. Thank you so much, Paula. Love y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. Get your fat bomb and have a ball. <laughs> <laughs> the space that you live in really affects the way you feel. So my first recommendation is start by updating your window treatments with Smith & Noble. Smith & Noble's beautiful handcrafted blinds, drapes, shades, and shutters are custom made just for you, and they offer different service options to fit your needs. To get started today, contact Smith & Noble to get my special limited time offer, 25% off on your window treatments, plus free design consultation. Create a space that you're gonna love. For details about my special offer, go to smithandnoble.com slash Paula. That's smithandnoble.com slash Paula. Or call 1-800-659-3300. That's 1-800-659-3300.